Welcome back trainers and we are going to be taking a look at kind of still figuring out if we can manipulate this lead deal here but we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, also I want you to take a look at the lag going on here. Now this was occurring throughout the entire day making it so that I just was thinking you know what should I focus on a different aspect of Pokemon Go because Go Battle League at this point in time is unplayable right yeah now it's not for every battle for everybody but it is certainly not in a state to be up and running for the public to be playing especially after these investments and my gosh it sure is uh, rage inducing i'm sure all of you can agree on that so what we're doing for this team or you know multiple teams here uh, as you can see we're going to be going with obstagoon and still blaziken a bit but we're going to be swapping them out as well as crobat too we're going to be just taking a look and see what we can find up in the lead there um, so yeah, if you do enjoy my videos, give it a thumbs up folks. All right. Uh, go battle league. Did you see that? I was missing all those quick moves. There's going to be several battles with that kind of example here. There's to the point where it gets so bad that you're going to see me going up against the Trevenant at this point. Um, I had it at this point. All right, I was, I was done. So we go up against the Trevenant and they're able to get to three seed bombs before I'm able to even get off of, you know, a couple of charge moves. And it's clear as to what's happening. I can't tap the screen. Now, there's several things I could, or, you know, at least one issue that I can bring up that could potentially be the problem for you not being able to tap your screen. And that is maybe a dirty screen. If you got a one of those phones that has a side deal, you know, they, they are not like flat, it kind of like curves on the side and you have a case, there could be a little gunk in there that's like pressing against the the screen that can kind of enable you to continuously tap and that's why you're seeing that inconsistency uh other than that it's go battle league's bustedness or i guess your phone could just be messed up but i'm pretty sure we're all in the good on that right even crack screens work fine sometimes for the most part so yeah go battle league unfortunately almost unplayable i see your comments i read pretty much all of them okay i don't do the heart thing anymore not until we get some more likes going here back on the videos because um yeah Oh no. Okay. So people are saying, you know, I'm running into this issue where you can't tap my thing or I hit legend and now I'm just messing around and I'm testing out what you were describing. And my gosh, my eyes have been opened and I see what you're talking about. It's completely obvious at this point. Once in a while you get an inconsistent lead where it's kind of like, oh, that doesn't really match up with what's in the back. All right. Look, I didn't claim to say I know how all this works 100%. And, you know, guess what? It could have something to do with your middle Pokemon, right? If you're actually taking everything that I'm saying is gospel and you think that I've run this algorithm to the T and I know what's going on, I said multiple times, I never claimed 100% to know how this works. You understand that? Now, this isn't going for a lot of you. I know that. Don't feel like I'm attacking you or anything, but just a lot of these people out here. And it's like, look, I have to say this. The people that keep saying, ignore the haters, don't, don't acknowledge. Look, Look, they're like a good portion of my viewers, all right? And believe it or not, they're probably almost bigger fans than a lot of people that, uh, you know, have all the notifications on, all right? Haters are big fans of people, okay? Just not get it twisted. There's a difference between obsession and hatred, and it's more on the obsession side. So I'll say whatever I need to say my piece, okay? This is my channel, all right? So I, I don't know what the 100% about the algorithm, all right? I figured it out to some degree we got you know obviously things going on here but you know it's just not have it hasn't been figured out completely so yeah i never claimed to know 100 percent so it could have something to do with the middle pokemon all right just want to talk to you folks here see what's good all right <laughs> using the s cavalier here just having a little fun to see what we can do you can see the obvious patterns here it's already done we already know it's, the deal is sealed all right um, as far as you getting to legend, if you're struggling to get there, we have go battle day on, uh, this weekend is Sunday. So, Hey, you know, it's your time to grind make sure you get up. It's going to be the ultra league. Thank goodness. So this is my favorite league having fun testing things out. Like I said, why not just go Heisenberg? It just doesn't work the same anymore with the wall ran <laughs> the meta is slightly shifting. It pulls off wins, but it's just not there. Like it used to be. All right, so here we go with the Trevenant. Crap, watch this. All right, we're tapping. Oh, nope, no more tapping for you. Stop, stop. Okay, now we can get there. 
No, that's not how it works. We've missed like several quick moves worth of energy gain. Now watch this one. All right, we missed a quick move, several there. And I've done this battle a thousand times, all right? We, we, we know how to pull out Trevenant in the lead. If we want to, we can get the Trevenant up there 80% of the time, all right? Simple, all right? It shifts from day to day. That's for sure. This game has something, some inner workings that's just going against you, all right? And then if you have, <laughs> now we'll get those people like, well, you're just making excuses. No, I'm not. Okay, all right? This is scientific. <laughs> all right, I'm just being silly. It is to some degree, right? But anyway. Yeah. So this is definitely a loss. I'm just showing you this just to entertain the concept of what we're talking about, right? Go Battle League is just in a state of not being able to be played correctly, right? So... Blaziken's still solid, that's for sure. And you know what's funny? I'm not going to include a lot of them, but there is a lot of these teams that I've been making that are roaming around, even like kind of slight altercations. Now take a look at this. I get all ragey and get onto Twitter. <laughs> Sick and tired of this game. <sighs> Gonna let out my anger on Twitter. Hey, that's what it's for. Twitter is a wasteland of garbage land. A delusional people of all walks. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, I forgot to put um, <laughs> my Needle Queen on the side. That's a Pokemon that I did not include in the IVs as well, so sorry about that. But uh, we are going to be using it here. It does have Stone Edge, I do believe. Uh, I didn't find having Earth Power is going to be particularly helpful. Having Stone Edge just seems like it's going to be way more surprising to your opponents. Uh, but anyways, we're doing the whole Wall Ren thing here. This is great. Letting Icicle Spear go through. We're going to farm down. Gotta love it. I mean, this thing is awesome. It's awesome to see after I've uploaded a couple of videos of it. It's just showing up everywhere. I didn't see it before. Plays again. Let's go. All right. All right. I see it. You know, it's funny. People say, you know, irrelevant. They're just mad. They're upset that I'm doing it, that we're making it. And thanks to all of my fans. I mean, if it wasn't for you, <laughs> some of you are just so dedicated to me. I, I appreciate you more than anything. Seriously. And remember this. If you have, this is uh, not not quoting Dr. Martin Luther King, but if you got a sea of people that come to see you, there's definitely going to be some enemies amongst them. You'd be fooling yourself if you think all those people are there because they love you or because they're fans. No, there's going to be people there because they hate you and they, they are so obsessed. They need to know every aspect and every little bit so they can have as much dirt on you as possible and see exactly what you're doing at every angle. It's clear as day. You already know what it is, folks. You think I'm dumb? Some of these people just don't... Like, I don't put out my entire personality, right? I'm not going to tell you how I think of every angle of every situation because I don't want you to get an uptick on how I work. So we change it up to Charizard, and it looks like it works because we got them to back out immediately. They already know what it is. Rock, paper, scissors. That, that person knew exactly what's up. All right, Legend. Let's go, Legend. What you got? Okay, Charizard. All right. So this Legend. All right. We're, we're according to statistics here and, uh, you know, all these uh, people, the legends are gods. So let's see what we got going on here. I'm just a scrubby little uh, ace over here. So <laughs> let's see what I can do. I am not worthy, right? All right. So we get that blast burn through. We are holding on to two shields. We're letting this go. No problem. Go ahead and hit me with your little blast burn. We're going to sneak a quick through, quick move through here. And now we're ahead. All right, so they do a little sneaky, sneaky snipe and take me out with their old crusty crustal. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Blaziken here. We're not taking super effective damage because we are part fighting. And we're going to go straight for the Blast Burn, taking him out. They got an Escavalier in the back. This is getting a bit dire because we have Obstagoon in the back. I have a feeling they've watched. They know what I have in the back lying in way. That's why they let it go. So here comes the Obstagoon, and uh, they're thinking, yeah, but counter you down. <laughs> Drop my elo down to this range so I can do go battle day. And I run into poke, scrub poke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go ahead and just, you know, go against the grain. Obstacle doesn't care about its counter. In comes Charizard. And what are we going to do? Go ahead and take him out. And then we're going to go ahead and counter down the Escavalier with our Obstagoon. Yeah, let's go. All right, next battle. What are we going to say? Oh, another legend. Okay, well, let's see what we have going on here. But he and my scrubby ace rank. Let's see what we got. Oh, Sir Fetched. Got a good lead for us here, although it's not completely comfortable. Now, this is probably definitely going to be a yeah, nice slash. Letting it go. Counters resisted. We can survive. Sir Fetched 
is squishy. You're going to go straight for a Dragon Claw, getting a shield. Very good. And getting to another Dragon Claw. Since they've used a shield, we can comfortably use ours, no problem at all. And go for a Dragon Claw. We don't need to go Blast Burn up against that little thing. And we're getting both shields right out the gate. Fantastic. Swapping into Obstagoon. We got a shield left. We need to hold on to that when you're using that Obstagoon. Or Blaziken, they're a bit squishy. Obstagoon isn't squishy unless you're going up against its weakness, obviously. Then, almost you don't even... Shields at that point are just like useless. What? Counter user? Charm user? Yeah. It's going to be bad. So we take them out. Shieldless. Why don't they get off a charge move? Uh, probably trying to build up doing something. I don't know. Uh, I could already see it now. They're just trying to tank. They're not trying. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah. That. Yeah. Well, okay. Good excuse. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm not even really trying either. I'm just. You know, barely even putting in any effort. So he took a win. Barely even any effort up against the legend. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I'm being silly. So many people nowadays. It's so crazy. They can't differentiate between like sarcasm just being a little silly like everybody it seems like it's so serious but it's not even like the them being serious it's them being like under some sort of like mind control or mk ultra to just jump on board to this like sjw woke nonsense crap <laughs> to get like woke points i don't know what's going on the world is going crazy it just makes me that much happier that i live in alaska away from the the nonsense that's going on in this world currently it's crazy so we got a blaziken up against our gramble i have I, i'm kind of being a little unfiltered today if you can tell i'm not upset or angry or anything like that and that's another thing like can somebody just like say what's on their mind that's a it's not going to be going like so positive that it doesn't mean that they're angry it just means that they're voicing themselves so we go down that's fine we planned all this no problem all right. Now, at this point, I probably would have stopped recording my voice and uh, taken out ah uh, seventy five percent of what I'm about to what, what not what I'm about to say what I've already said and kind of just scrubbed it up and made it like you know how's it going? We're all happy and rainbows and butterflies, and, you know all that stuff, right? <laughs> all right, let's switch it up. We got a Venusaur in the back. What are we gonna pull? What do you think we're gonna pull? I don't know. We'll take a look and see. Obviously, going to the front. Venusaur in the back. Let's see. Steel. Steel. Why? Because, well, Steel resists grass and poison, all right? And we resist electric. They're immediately swapping into Swampert. We're going to go ahead and bring in the Venusaur. You already know what it is. All right, don't tap on all of them because you don't need to. Figured they would shield it up. Figure this is an Earthquake as well. And now we have to look out for Hydro Cannon. So that's a good play to do with the Swampert. Build up to that Earthquake if you know you're going to maybe get it through. It's a 50-50 chance of them shielding it up, right? It's not like you're psychic. So we shield that up. One-to-one -one shield. Good, good. Energy loaded up. Gonna go for a frenzy plan onto what was that? The Magnazone. Yeah, they shield it up because it's still gonna do a lot of damage to that Shadow Magnazone. Magnazone is squishy as it is, and uh, as a shadow, look at yeah. I mean that's steel. We just did over half. Crazy. So we have good counters. We know that that thing's gonna be hitting like a truck. So we gotta be careful here. Letting the first one go. They're gonna be swapping into Glade. We immediately bring in our Charizard here on our shieldless opponent, getting to a blast burn, and it's all in the bag. Yeah, we got this here. Yeah, they still have a wild charge ready to go. But it doesn't really matter. We simply just don't shield it up. Bring in Obstagoon and we're going to be able to take the win with that one shield left. They go a mirror shot to get the shield maybe. Hey, they were fighting to the bitter end. All right, good game. Next battle, what are we going to see this time with the Venusaur in the back? Oh, what do you know? A fairy in the front. So since we do have two fairy counters, we're going to go ahead and swap into Charizard. They bring in Gengar. And we're going to go straight for the Dragon Claw here. I don't want them to, you know. Ah, they let it go. Okay, good call. But that doesn't really matter. Uh... We're still in a good position. So we'll shield the first one up because we're going to have to shield two knowing this. And we will survive and come out of here with energy. And I screw up here. Uh, get greedy, but they bring in a glade. And I wanted to go blast bird, but they take me out. That was crucial. Damn it. All right. So we bring in our Obstagoon here. Uh, not feeling too comfortable about this battle. Going for the Night Slash. Got the Venusaur that's also weak to confusion. So yeah, we're stuck between a rock and a glade. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and shield up this close combat, calling it correctly, thank goodness. Going for another Night Slash here. And Venusaur, you know, although it's weak to confusion, we do resist both of the charge moves. So we're going to have to go ahead and catch here. Let's see what it is. Probably a Leaf Blade. They don't need to go close combat. Oh, close combat. Never mind. All right. They're continuing on. And we're like trying to farm down. They swap into their Sylveon now. You're thinking, wow, you got this in the bag. Nah, let me show you where I screwed up. Okay, we're going here. Now watch what happens. What I should have maybe done. 
I think I could have lost no matter what. I don't know. I feel like I should have just let them go down or let not hit my charge move, bring an obstacle and farm down, but if they could have gotten to a moon blast. Don't think a moon blast would have KO'd. We would have came out with energy, been able to hit the glade with a night slash and take the win. I think that could have been our win con there. But I think the couple more charms plus a moon blast would have taken out our obstacle. So yeah, they got me. It was a good game. Next battle, we're met with a Gyarados in the front with that grass in the back. Exactly. Okay. So <laughs> I'd never see a Gyarados lead. Not until I put the grass in the back. So we're going to go ahead and let this go. They're just going to be able to hit you with Aqua Tail unless they have like an Outrage. But more than likely, if they have Dragon Breath, they're going to be going with Aqua Tail Crunch. If they have Waterfall, they're going to be going with Aqua Tail and Outrage. Or maybe even Crunch and Outrage. It really depends. But anyway, so we're just going on. Nice lag. What the heck? Oh my goodness. So it's kind of went away. Now, the whole stuttering and puttering of my energy. Not hitting the quick moves. Well, how did I resolve that? Well, one, I went and cleaned my phone with, like, uh, just completely wiped it down. It, I clean my phone every morning anyways because your phones are absolutely disgusting. So if I were you, I'd make it a habit of cleaning it every single day with uh, disinfected. I do that personally uh, every morning, all right, and throughout the day too because, yeah, your phones are filthy. So clean your phone. How did I resolve it? Okay, let's get back onto that. Uh, go into the options. Go down to refresh cache or whatever. Uh, that didn't really seem to work. Uh, I restarted my phone and forced close it. I mean, after that seemed to be working. So there is that um, option, I guess. I'm not saying it's going to work every time. So what the heck's going on here? They're going Octazooka. They just lowered our attack. So this battle, man, this Rosa raid was, <laughs> I think this might, I think we have one more battle after this. So they go for Leaf Storm. Okay. So their attack fell. And I didn't realize that's what happened. I, I was just spacing out like, no way, this son of a gun's going to beat me. But their attack dropped. So thank goodness that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> we take the... <laughs> all right, good game. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're doing it a little different today. What do we have for the next battle? Make sure you hit that like button. You already know. I really appreciate that. So we're met with a muck. Got the grass in the back. Need I explain more? No. So we're going to go ahead and go for that cross job. I'm not swapping or anything. I mean, Muck's a pretty good core breaker for the Ultra Premier here. Uh, considering this team, you know, going up against the Venusaur, it's going to be doing pretty good because of the poison and its poison typing, resisting grass and uh, poison itself. Although Frenzy Plants are still going to hurt. Charizard doesn't really want to see the Thunder Punches, right? As well as those poison jabs that are going to be adding up quite significantly. So obviously is just going to stay right here. We got a shield out of them, that's fine. And they got energy built up, so what do we want to do? Farm down with Venusaur, or go in here, farm down with Charizard. I think farm down with Charizard, and just hope that they don't get to two Thunder Punches. So there's the one, and we get to a Blast Burn as well. We have a Blast Burn ready to go, this is great. They're coming in with Obstagoon. There's got to be something back there weak to Charizard, and I'm keeping this in mind with the Venusaur back there. We're going to go ahead and swap after we get that last shield and let this go, because it's just going to be a Night Slash, no problem at all. What you got back there? Please don't show me a Crobat. It's a Heracross. Okay, 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 okay. I love to see these double counter users. Let's go. So we're going to go Sludge Bomb here. Looks like they're trying to catch a Frenzy. And we will shield this up. I felt like I'm almost screwed up here by shielding that. That was like a really dumb move to do. Rock Blast wouldn't have KO'd with the followed um, uh, counters. It was like, well, why, why, why did you waste your shield right there? But anyway, it doesn't matter. Getting to their Night Slash. Not quite taking us out. Looks like they under, under tap maybe. Bringing in Charizard here with a bit of energy. Now, at this point, I'm getting nervous because I'm thinking they're going to get to two Night Slashes. I don't know how much energy they had built up, but this is the last battle. So if you did enjoy all these or my talk or whatever, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate the support. And thank you to all my patrons and supporters. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.